In this video, we are going to learn how to construct this figure, which consists of drawing a spiral given a quadrilateral. The process of how to draw the spiral is also explained in this reference video. To start we are going to draw the lines of a square separately. For this, we can use the get vertices method. To each of these lines, we are going to assign an index number. We are going to use these numbers to draw the rest of the lines. The logic to draw the rest of the lines is the following. First we create an array with the last three lines. We will draw the next line using the end point of the last line and a ratio of the first line. To this new line, we assign the corresponding index. And that's it, to get the next line we do the same process. We get the last three lines and draw the next line using the end point of the last line and a ratio of the first line. With this, we can create as many lines as we want. To make the animation, we will create a group that only contains the last three lines drawn in this way. It is also important to take care of the direction of the lines since the location of the proportion of the first line will depend on this. Having all this in mind, we now proceed to build the spiral. The process is as follows. We obtain the last three lines before starting the loop. From this group, we get the first and the last line. We draw the new line using the algorithm explained above. We remove the last line of the group and add the new line to the list of the three lines. And that's it. We can see that the code works correctly. With what we have done before, we can now build a custom object. The logic remains exactly the same. Now we are going to replicate the hexagon that appears in the reference animation. The first thing we have to notice is that the hexagon is split in six equal parts. These quadrilaterals are the ones we have to use to draw the spirals. The way to build the quadrilaterals is very simple. We use one of the vertices, the center of the figure, and the centers of the edges connected to the vertex. Now that we have the quadrilaterals we just have to use the custom object that we created before with each of the quadrilaterals. And that's it, we are done with this exercise. As an exercise for the viewer, you can try to draw the rest of the missing figures shown here. Finally, I would like to remind you that if you want to learn Manum at a professional level, you can buy the bundle of my three courses for only $80. The basic course and the intermediate course will teach you all the theory and tips to understand how Manum works, and the Manum Examples course will teach you how the animation design process works, with more than 30 exercises and many tips that you won't find anywhere else. If you have already purchased the first two courses, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to buy the Manum Examples course for only $30. This promotion will only be valid until the end of January 2024. Thank you very much for making it this far. See you in the next video.